Mike Technologies presents the ABCs of liquid transmission sampling. There are three primary considerations when choosing a liquid transmission cell. The cell type, the window type, and path length. Pike's liquid demountable cell offers flexibility by allowing the user to vary the path length through the use of spacers from 0.015 to 1 mm. Thus, the strength of the absorbance bands of interest may be optimized. For viscous liquids or mulls, consider our press-on demountable cell. Simply spot the sample onto the bottom window and cover with the top window. Spacers may be used with this cell too. For quantitative analysis, where precise reproducible path length is required, we recommend our super sealed transmission cell. This cell uses an amalgamated seal. All cells are mounted on a 2 by 3 inch standard slide mount card. The window type will depend upon the spectral range of interest, the solubility of the window, and the pH tolerance. Due to the parallelism of the windows, interference fringes may appear in the spectrum. This is caused by constructive and destructive light interference at the cell window surface. Choosing a window with the smallest refractive index will minimize the magnitude of these interference fringes. In Pike's Transmission Theory application note, available in our catalog and on our website, you'll find a convenient table summarizing window properties, transmission region, and refractive index. The optimal path length is sample dependent. As a rule of thumb for measurements in the mid-infrared, typical path length for polar liquids are 50 micron to 0.15 millimeters. For water, 15 microns or less. Non-polar liquids from 0.1 to 0.5 millimeters. And non-aqueous solutions from 0.1 to 1 millimeter or more. Generally, it's desirable to have the absorbance bands of interest to range from 20 to 80 percent transmission. Now you have the ABCs of liquid transmission sampling. For more information, visit our website.